What's going on, you two folks out there? Let me y'all one here. Let me uh, set this bad boy up on this kickstand. Wow, works a whole lot better. So Obama gets at Osama bin Laden, kills him, two shots to the head, the man's dead. There's a lot of controversy over whether it should have been done in the first place, whether it was legal. Uh, obviously, they, they talk about Osama being un, unarmed at the time. My honest opinion is, you know, it would have probably been the right thing to do to uh, capture him and let him face some sort of trial by the international uh, arena. But whatever. We shot him. This man has obviously uh, uh, committed some heinous acts or has represented himself as the leader of those who would commit those heinous acts. So, I mean, if they go out and execute him, I mean, there's, there's little nothing I'm going to stand up and say in his favor. As just, just being, being straight up with you guys. Now, um, what kills me is our inability in the Republican square to give this man credit when credit is due. Bush had his time. Bush had his time and ample opportunity to do what he had to do, yet he was unable to do so. He was unable to capture, he was unable to, uh, to, to kill Osama bin Laden. Obama was. And, you know, you can sit here and, and, and mince words and feelings about, you know, whether oh, Obama was just working off of what Bush said and blah, blah. But I specifically remember when Obama said, if we have intelligence showing that he's over in Pakistan and they don't act, we will. And that's exactly what played out. And you know what the Republicans had to say the whole time Obama was saying this? This man is crazy. You can't invade Pakistan. They turn it into something else. And lo and behold, the exact same scenario played out. Obama did exactly what he said. He's one of the few things, believe that, one of the few things that he actually said during his campaign was actually followed to the T. Okay? Uh... And again, we can we can we can follow with conspiracy theories. Me personally, I thought the man was dead a long time ago. So I mean, I don't really let that even go there. Okay, let's just say that he he killed Osama bin Laden, and that's that. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm gonna be willing to believe what's out there in the news right now. Okay, I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not gonna go down that road. I'm not gonna go down that road. Now, this what we've seen play out lately is one of the few reasons why I haven't been able to post a video here on YouTube because I, I just I'm not into the politics thing as much anymore. I'm I, quite frankly I'm I'm rather busy doing a lot of things here and there. But there's no other ideas. There's nothing else out there. I mean I, I think the one joy that might come out in the Republican race is Ron Paul. I swear. There's just nothing out there. There are any new thoughts, ideas, anything worthy of being discussed by these people out here who want to run for president. They have aspirations of running for president. <laughs> Sarah Pack, we even heard of this woman anymore. She just kind of played the backfield, okay? She knows she's too dumb, and that's why you don't hear anything about her, okay? 2012 will be nothing but men. And all that talk about the glass ceiling and everything, you won't see it. Okay, who do you have? Michelle Bachman? She's another dunce. Okay, Mitt Romney is clearly one of the most competent people you have, but the idiot is, is too busy trying to, trying to flip flop from one thing to another. He doesn't have any real point of view. And all the other, who, who you got? Tea, pub, uh, tea Party uh, backed Republicans? They're loony. Their ideas are insane. They're, they're counter America. Okay? So, no, there is absolutely no chance that there's anyone in the Republican field as it stands right now that is going to defeat Barack Obama or even come close or even, you know, even bring about worthy debate, you know, for, for people like me to sit down and listen to him and be like, hmm, maybe this Republican has an idea. It's not happening so far. All I hear thus far is hate Obama, hate Obama, hate Obama, hate Obama, and that shit gets old after a while. <clears throat> it really does. I mean, if you have nothing better to do but then to make sure that Obama is wrong, okay, when, when, when you're not actually coming out as, as being right, it says a lot about your character. It really does. So, 
I mean, uh, I apologize for those who, who do follow me, the few are, that are out there, um, those who may tune in for the first time, whatever's whatever. I mean, it's just not as exciting anymore because you have Republican idiots out there representing the Republican Party. Okay, and there are many fools out there who like to follow my page. They don't even have much to say anymore. I mean, we, what is it, the Joker fishes and the Silver Seal, whatever the hell their names are. Uh, you guys come out there and, and, and put me in my place every now and then, but quite frankly, I haven't heard much from you guys either because there's nothing for you to say. You understand that the ideas that are being pushed out there are ridiculous. They're counterproductive. They don't make any sense. You know this. It's it's sad. It's a shame, really. But um, that's all I have to say about that. Look, give credit where credit is due, man. He went out there. He killed Bin Laden. I mean, Bush had years to do it. Don't sit here and try to tell me all it was because of waterboarding because there, it wasn't. I, I'm just not going to believe that because you say it, Fox News, O'Reilly. Okay, show me some proof. Show me some documentation. Then they have it. Okay. You know, the, the, the sad part is that, you know, that is that would be good, honest debate. That would be something to really think about. But when you just arbitrarily just put it out there as fact, when there's other people that come out to the contrary, including your own vice president, <laughs> I mean, what, what, what agenda are you pushing? Bush had seven and a half, six and a half years to do in Osama bin Laden. He had ample time, okay? He didn't get it done. Did, did Obama surely follow off of some of the things that were already in place? Sure. Sure. But at the end of the day, whose decision was it to go in there and, and get these uh, seals in there and, and, and get this man killed? All right. Well, the phone's ringing. That means I got to go. I got to get to work. We got one here. Conservative opinion is always a plus. Gotta holler at me. Peace.